Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Travis Christie. And Tim, we're watching the Pacific Coast because that is where our next storm system is. Just spinning off in that general area is going to bring us a chance of snow for the southern reaches of the state. Also, we could see a little bit of snow in the Cal Albuquerque area, so we will keep a close watch on that. In the meantime, there is your seven day forecast. Tomorrow, looking quiet, we'll increase the chance for showers. Tuesday, tapering off. Wednesday into Thursday. The holiday end of the week looks like it's going to end up quiet but cold. Thank you, Travis. Two days after a failed alleged terror attack, a similar situation happens on the same flight. A passenger is in police custody now after being removed from the same Detroit bound Northwest Airlines flight. Officials say the man was Nigerian and had locked himself inside the plane's restroom. The pilot requested emergency assistance when the flight arrived. The other 255 passengers got off the plane safely. Additional screening measures are now in place at airports throughout the world after the Christmas Day attempt. The Obama administration has promised a review of security procedures after a passenger tried to blow up flight 253 Christmas Day. Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano admitted today the alleged attacker was on a watch list. The suspect in a Christmas Eve shooting that eventually turned fatal is now charged with murder. 35 year old Javier Rosales appeared before a Metro court judge yesterday, originally charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Rosales was arrested early Christmas Eve. Police say he shot a man in the face in the 6600 block of Cochiti Southeast. The victim was initially listed in critical condition, but then died later the same day. It was news that surfaced yesterday in court. Judge Daniel Ramchick doubled the suspect's cash only bond. This case has now um, gone up um, an even more serious level, so I'm going to set your bond at one million cash only. Albuquerque police filed an amended warrant today to update the aggravated battery charge to an open count of murder. Rosales is still in jail. Stay with KRQB for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.